All right, the new and hopefully, hopefully improved Egg Open GPS with the GUI and everything. So a lot of this is all still the same. Like the stuff is mostly the same. It's just kind of rearranged. Now they got double panel or double row of buttons on the right side and display in the middle and then Batman changes between that and like a little mini panel. Don't know if you want to eliminate this at all, but it is a good place for extra buttons and there is plenty of space. So we may as well have some sort of a panel. I don't know if the, all of this stuff needs to be there uh, or not. And if it could be just reserved for buttons, that sort of thing in the simulator, then that works good. And I also have the simulator in both now, both uh, the big panel and the small panel. So that works pretty good. Okay, in regards to program, uh, making the uh, making the field and the boundaries, and then of course the yellow line is where it automatically calculates. Whoops, where it automatically calculates the turns for you. So they're not saved or anything; they're just generated on the go as you change or want to change. And. <laughs> Of course, the new sky. The sky looks pretty cool. And you can also use the trackpad or scroll mouse or any way you scroll with two fingers on the screen for zoom. So zoom works really fast and nice, which is kind of why you almost don't need these anymore. But uh, you can twist on the screen for gestures to do the up and down. All right, a couple of big changes, of course, is the U-turn works in every mode, anywhere, anytime. It works quite well. Uh, heading up here, speed. Again, this stuff we can fix around. Uh, the, the type of fix that quality that you have is up there. Again, the buttons and stuff. There were some great ideas this morning, and of course, most of them ideas aren't incorporated into this new part. But what is neat and new is the AB line. Now, as you know, you could always save a, ABs to here and, and then use them. So once there's an active AB line, whoops. Once there's an active AB line, see when it goes out of bounds, then everything's red and the machine shuts down. That's all part of the autonomous stuff. And that works pretty good too. Um, so what we have here is a right click or context menu on the AB line where you can choose the original AB line that you made with that AB or you can choose two other AB lines or you can just add 90 degrees to it okay. or go right back to the original. Of course that was going to puke out but the, uh, the way to choose these is Pick your two favorites, click, and then select AB1, and then select that for AB2, and you're done. And then they appear in your context menu. Didn't think there was a requirement for more, but who knows? Again, let me know. And yeah, then you can go back to your original, or you can choose one of these other ones. There's 45 degrees, there's five degrees. Pick and choose accordingly. And then when you click that, it goes back to your original. The challenge is, the skip thing or a snap because what do you change where do you change the position to and how do you change the snap in the saved and all that sort of thing so right now it doesn't save snap so if you snap to a new line it's not going to save the snap i'm not sure how other how commercial manufacturers do it how they deal with snap but that is a bit of a question so it all seems to work quite well steer off. The other thing is with contour and we have a contour priority left and right and you'll notice the snap turned into contour priority. So if we turn auto steer on and whip around find the line. So if we choose a priority left or right, you can do that. And once we turn that off, then it becomes snap again because snap doesn't apply to contour and contour left and right doesn't apply to, to not. So that's an efficient use of that button. Might have to think about how to do more of those. But uh, yeah, that part works pretty good. 
the um, delete applied, deletes all the applied. Whoa, dizzy. And then of course, boundary contour makes the boundaries around the outside. And voila, away it goes. And now you can do your entire field, zoom it around the outside. Now this sets the uh, gap to 20 centimeters, which if you don't want the thing turning off and on, yeah, of course it'll with the manual, and then it'll always stay on on the outside round. That is a little tricky. Contour eliminates sharp corners and that sort of thing and smooths out the corners. If it's really sharp, it'll still make a right angle, but at least it doesn't do one of those big bow tie things like uh, Outbag does. So that's an improvement too. So hopefully uh, play around with some of these new ideas and let me know. It's been lots of programming time at the dryer all night, many, many nights. So yeah, it's been fun. And again, we see we're outside of the bounds. So it's machine stop, critical stop. And the only way, which is weird because you want the line to be a bit away, but when you're doing the outside round, you have to be up against the border. So the other option is to take U-turn and get closer with the line. Now you're inside. So again, these are some of these catch-22s that you want to protect the line. You want to protect the boom from hitting the, hitting the boundary. But in order to do the outside round, then the U-turn uh, line is, uh, is between you and the boundary. So then that doesn't work either. So... Yep, this, the more ideas that you add, the more permutations and combinations for button changes in there are and the more complicated it gets. But works pretty good. So give it a whirl. I, uh, and UDP, NMEA should work. All of that stuff should work. So again, give it a whirl. Thanks.